Hi and welcome to Calculator Tutorial Develop Using Visual Studio 2017 in Visual Basic. So let me show you guys how this works. Supposing I say 25 plus 63 there. Multiply that by 5 and maybe minus 78 there. I say want to divide that by 35.6 there we go okay we can even do plus minus plus minus 10 plus multiply by 2 plus minus 20 okay backspace clear 9 plus 5 there so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we'll put one of these together Welcome back to Visual Basic Development Environment. Let's click on Start New Project. Okay, we give our calculator a name, so I'm going to call it VB underscore calculator. So let me just enter 99 there. There we go. And then click on. Make sure Calcul uh, Visual Basic is selected and just click on OK. There. Okay, my form is ready, so let's configure the size of this form to about that. There we go, that's the size of my form. Now I'm going to change the back color to something maybe dark green. Right there. Okay, guys, let's add a text box. So I'm going to come right down here. That is my text box. Something like that. And let's change the size to about. 12 by 55 and multi line. I'm gonna make that true. There we go. Now, any buttons come right down here. Let's select button. That's my button there. I'm gonna change the color of that button to ivory. Let's change the size to about 100 by 100 by maybe 78. Then and let's copy it across. Hold on to the control, click and drag. There we go. Now I'm going to need a couple more. Select it all and just move it up. And there we go. Let me increase this to fill it up. There. Now select everything and I'm going to change the size of the font to about. I'm, I'm going to make that 20. And right there, make that bold. Come down here, that's 20. Yeah, that's fine. There. Now, let's do something. You see the form position, start position. I'm going to get it centered. And if you like, we can just write something there. Let's call it calculator. There we go. Right there. So I'm going to select it all. And no, maybe just move this down a little bit. Yeah. and the text content on that text box I'm going to make that zero come right down here and just align right there now the very first item here this very one I'm going to change the size oh, sorry the value in there to seven the next one is going to be eight nine plus minus six five four one two three and that is going to be multiply division plus decimal place and we have a zero here there we go that's it all done this one is going to be c e and this is going to be c okay these two i need to get some special character on them 
okay for the other two buttons i'm going to go into word document and just copy some character on characters on it so let's come in here word and let's go to insert and let's select symbols now select that for backspace and go to the other one select plus minus so let me copy this that backspace minimize this and place the backspace right here there you will see you will see a dot there that's the dot right there but we do need to change the font style come in here and let's change the font style now we need to change that font style to winging so enter w there and there we go that's winging right there click on ok there that's sorted let's go back to word and select the other one the plus minus that is it right here that's the plus minus so copy it and come right in here select and just paste it inside or on the text there that is it done so I'm going to select all the numbers including the dots and we will then use an event to get that rolling so let's come here select the event and right here I'm going to give the event a name no i don't want it to be known as zero let's change it to something else so if the event is going to be let's say only underscore values right there there we go and that's you can see all of the buttons the name of all of the buttons have been selected straight into the event only values so there let's declare a button so I'm going to just call that button B as button and B itself is going to be equals to sender so using the sender value so whatever we, we enter in to B is sent so let's use an if statement but before then wait a minute this we need to give this a name so let's come back in here I'm going to give that a name so let's call that T let's say TXT I display. Okay. TSTI display. So copy that. I'm back into my only values. So I will now use an if statement there. If put that in a bracket txt i display dot text equals zero there then txt i display dot clear okay we want it cleared or oh, else what we want it to do is txt i display dot text equals whatever value we have on the text box and that is it that's what the B stands for so all of these characters are class as text as B there so that is taken care of now let's use an else else if B dot text equals a dot okay or you can call it this one decimal place then this is supposed to be bt b dot text there now get rid of this this should be here then using an if statement again if if not txt display dot text dot contains and put that in a quote and that is the dot then we want this to happen txt display dot text equals TXCI display dot text 
plus whatever we have inside B and there now let's use one more if statement to now validate the option make else all of these here will be this and that is it so that would should take care of all of the numeric values and the dots so let's run it and see okay let's try it out there we go working as we expect all right so here are the lines of codes again just for the buttons and the decimal place okay remember to make sure you enter else here all right, that is taken care of. The next thing I will do up here is I'm going to declare as follows. Let me say first value, first value. Then I'm going to say comma second value. Okay, and I'll just say as double. Then the next one I would declare is going to be operator or operations. Operations as let's go for string and let's make the value equal zero equals nothing. So as you can see the three variables are declared as a global variable. Okay, and this is what is this one here that is local right so now let's come in here I'm going to select these buttons the operators there and as for the operators I will now come into the events click right there and I'll just call it operator operator value and just press enter now inside my operator value the what I'm going to now do is I will declare another variable and that is going to be B as well you can change the name to whatever you want okay I just call it B to represent button and right in there let's say first value equals txt I display dot text okay then my operations right here let's say the value of operation equals b dot text and in that case I would like txt i display dot text I want it cleared there and that take care of all of the operators now let's come in here we've taken care of all of these okay the next one we want to take care of let's take care of the plus minus double click on the plus minus and right here these are the lines of code for the plus minus okay have a good look at it come right down all right let's take care of the backspace there those are the lines of code for the backspace I'll speed this up for the sake of time now I'm going to copy this and just use that for CE paste that in there for CE I also might as well paste that for CE as well ok I think what is now left is just the equals double click on that in the case of equals we're going to be using let's declare the variable first i value equals txt i display dot text so i'm going to be using select case so right here let's say we enter select case operate operations Okay. in the case of my operation the first value let's say is plus if it's plus then 
txti display dot text equals I say first value plus second value. There, that is that taken care of. Here we need we need a care. Oh, we have two there. Let's just delete one. All right. Now the next one is going to be this. I say the next one is subtract and the case is subtract and the next one let's say that is multiply and this is multiply finally we have division there and that's all the restorage as you can see we start with select case and we also end with and select and that's all there is to it okay we're now going to run this program so let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about there we go run there we go guys let's say 9 multiply by 5 equals that multiply by 4 day divide by 8 Okay, and maybe multiply by 12 point whatever. Okay, get rid of that. Alright, just get rid of it all. You see, default back to zero. Okay, then we can even say, let's say we clear. Multiply that by plus whatever. Divide by there and there let's multiply that by 8 there so guys with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it have a nice day and bye for now